Hey guys, this is Lego Master again for another video. And since I had done my Lego Custom ET minifigures, um, I am back with Jurassic Park. So it will be the same way for as I've seen. And some new ones that have been updated, or some old ones that have been updated. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, so you can see that there are a lot of minifigures. figures. So I'm gonna um, just show them to you <laughs> as usual. Um, we're gonna start off with Alan Grant right here. You've already seen him. He um, he has the same everything. Um, so yeah, and I've done nothing on the back yet. Still. So yeah, there's not really much to say about him. And I have not showed you my Lego custom on um, Ellie Sattler. The hair is not that great, but um, I think it's okay. So see, you can see that she has shorts on. I can't find a good color for white flesh. Doesn't really match that great, but I think it's okay. It's a decent. And there's her belt. See right there? The little straps and the little um, tie going down to the belt um, section. And here it is at the top on the torso section. It's um, divided by two parts. And she has her salmon jacket, which is, I'm glad I found the right color. Um, because I think it looks pretty good. There's her um, buttons and her blue t-shirt underneath and her skin right there. Um, she has Ray's face from like a Star Wars. She has a smiley face. That's the main one I wanted. And a kind of furious face. I guess on some occasions she would need a furious face, but um, yeah. I couldn't really imagine her being, like, that scared. I only imagine the kids being scared in the movies. So, um, yeah, that's Ellie Sattler. And then next, you, you also have seen this guy. Clever girl. Um, Robert Muldoon. Everything's the same, except for his head. I actually found a better head for him. Take off the head so you can see it better. It is an elf head, but it was used in a Lego Star Wars set. But I think, I'm pretty sure there was originally like an elf head from the Lego Hobbit. Or Lego Lord of the Rings. Pretty sure because it has that look. And it also looks pretty much like his face. It looks a lot like it. It really resembles his character. And so yeah, that's pretty much everything for him. There's not really much to say. Because that's the only thing that was changed. And then the next one is Ian Malcolm. You're probably wondering why. Why is he doing Ian Malcolm again? Um, And the reason why you can tell. I don't know if you can tell. But I can tell them. Um, that the torso. I completely changed it. I completely redid it. Because I didn't think it looked that great. Um, So um, he has his black jacket. As you can see, the buttons, the place where the buttons stick in, the, and his button-up shirt in black underneath, and his belt is actually on the torso, pretty cool, and the chest is a little better, the chest hairs are a little better, that sounds kind of funny. So yeah, and I actually do have something on the back to um, make it look a little better. It's just a line for like his tuxedo-ish thing. And then some metallic, like, silver, like, I just call, I just barely, like, colored over them to make it look like wrinkles. Oops. So, yeah, that's the only thing that's changed with him. Um, yeah. And the next one is the two kids. They have been updated. So, yeah, this is... Lex. Lex Murphy. 
I actually wanted to do short legs for her one time, but I changed him back. I don't know if you see this figure. I can't remember all the videos I did. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you her again. I think I have, but, um, yeah, this is just her not with the set. And then, what you definitely have not seen, and I will be giving her some new pieces, like flesh color arms and a female flesh head. So, what you have not seen is my updated Tim Murphy. So, here he is. Um, it's pretty cool. Most of it is the same. Um, except for he has flesh hands now. See all of that. And he has a new head. He has, um... My custom Shaggy head, it was originally Young Han Solo's head, but yeah. And then I just scratched off the beard. Like, um, let me take off his hair. Sorry guys. Okay, I got it off. Okay, so, what do I aim it at? Okay, um, so yeah, and, um, if we go up from the back, he does have a scare face. That is painted, as you can tell, or I think you can tell. So yeah, he has a scare face that's painted on there that was already, I just scratched the beard off and made a little few modifications to my modifications. <laughs> um... So yeah, I think that was a pretty good face for him. And to me, it looks almost exactly like Ron Weasley's head from Harry Potter. So yeah, not too much to say about him. And then the next one is, um, uh, Donald Gennaro. There he is. Same shorts, same body. I'm really happy with this body and legs that I made for him. Cole's face, which I think it looks great um, for his character. It's a little bit of a younger face than... He looks a little younger than he is in the movie. But I'm okay with that. I like because he looks younger. I just like it. And now he has brown hair because... I don't know why. I just thought it looked better. And it especially makes him look younger because of that, too. So, yeah... And last, but certainly not least, this is definitely one of my favorite characters, too. It is Dennis Nedry. And to me, he's a very goofy character in some scenes. Like, he's so goofy looking. Especially in, um, I don't know what that outfit was called he was wearing. But it was like a pink, like, colorful Hawaiian shirt. So funny. Um... You can't see it on camera, but I did do, you know, like, a line, kind of like a hump for, like, you know, like, his belly, you know, sticking out, because he's kind of a larger guy in the movie, <laughs> um, which is kind of cool. And he has belt right there. Let's see? And um, he has his... Um, I managed to get pretty close to the pattern on a shirt in the movie. It's not perfect. It's decent. Because sometimes with hand, by hand, you can't, you just can't get it just right. And I don't like that. I want it to look like the main figure, but it's still recognizable. And then here's the name tag. To me, it looks kind of bad because sometimes it looks like it's part of the pattern. Plain gray arms. This is definitely... It's definitely changed. It's the same shirt, but um, it's just been redone, and I think it looks a lot better. Same head, different hair. It's Ezra's hair, and this was actually Ezra's head with glasses um, colored on. So there's like his goofy kind of um, smile. The other movie, I think it really resembles that. Kind of is. There's like a chin, or I think you can see that. 
And here's his, like, confused face. I have a scared face for him, but I think it's only needed when he doesn't have his glasses on, because I think that's when he's really scared. So, yeah, that is Dennis Nedry. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. That is all for my Lego Custom Jurassic Park minifigures, and I know you're still waiting for my um, update on my Lego Jungle Explorer. That will be coming in the next video. I'll make it where it's the next video. Um, just for you to know. So see you later, alligators. And comment, subscribe, and like for more videos like this one. Bye.